Time now for Saturday Night Sport with Darren Mara and yet more disruptions for Australian sport, Darren. Yes, and we start with the Rugby League, Anton. The New Zealand Warriors remain in limbo after the country's government imposed strict border restrictions from tomorrow night. Now, the Warriors went down in their round one clash against the Knights this afternoon in Newcastle, but as the match was played out, club officials were informed of a mandatory 14-day quarantine for anyone travelling to New Zealand. Now, that would effectively rule out their round two clash against Canberra in Auckland. There's speculation the NRL could base the Warriors in Australia for the time being, the club conceding a prolonged stay away from home, maybe on the cards, in order to remain in the competition. We don't exactly know, you know, you know what's going to happen, where we're going. Look, there's so many possibilities. Uh, all I know is that, um, you know, that the guys are briefed, the partners and wives are briefed. And, um, you know, we just got to do our best as a club to remain together here or wherever we end up and um, take on round two when it comes. The club says it expects to know more after meetings with the Australian Rugby League Commission wrap up tonight. And Football Federation Australia is also understood to be working on a plan to move the Wellington Phoenix to Australia for the remainder of the A-League season. Tomorrow's fixture between the Phoenix and Melbourne victory in Wellington will go ahead at this stage. The FFA is set to provide an update on the situation tomorrow night. While a crowd of just over 4,000 braved wet conditions in Sydney this afternoon as Sydney FC played out a goalless draw with Perth glory. Sydney FC has booked a third straight W League grand final appearance with a 1-0 win over Melbourne victory. Veronica Latsko's 14th minute strike proved the difference for the defending champions. They are set to face the winner of tomorrow's semi-final between Melbourne City and the Western Sydney Wanderers. Abroad now and the English Premier League and all elite football in Britain has been suspended until April 3rd due to coronavirus. It's just one of several sports to be disrupted by the global pandemic. Football in Europe has come to a standstill. England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland are the latest countries to suspend its leagues. The Premier League making the decision after Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta and Chelsea winger Callum Hudson-Odoi tested positive for coronavirus. Hi guys, as you may be aware, I had the virus for the last couple of days, which I've recovered from. I'm following the health guidelines and self-isolating myself from everybody for the week. The league has been suspended until April the 3rd, despite concerns resuming on that date will be almost impossible. Liverpool currently sits just two wins away from a drought-breaking title. It's disappointing, but yeah, 30 years. We've waited 30 years for the title. We can wait another three or four months. Clubs in England's lower league say cancelling the season would have a devastating impact. We've got six home games left. And if we don't play them, we'll be looking at a quarter of a million pound hole in our finances, at least. The Formula One season is now set to start in May, after races in China, Bahrain and Vietnam were postponed overnight. That comes after the Australian Grand Prix was cancelled yesterday. We're taking stock of the situation now with what we've learned from this weekend. And you know, we want to try and build the Formula One season back up. But we've got to be re realistic about when that can start again, and that's what we're working on at the moment. Golf's US Masters, which started in 1934, is set to be played after April for the first time following its postponement. The next three events on the PGA Tour have also been abandoned. It's just golf. It's just a game that we uh, get to play, which is uh, pretty special. But um, outside of golf and sports and stuff like that, life's a lot bigger than sports and golf. Cycling's first Grand Tour of the year won't start in May. The Giro d'Italia has been delayed with the decision on its future not due until the end of this month. Adrian Archuli, SBS World News. Well, basketball now and Perth Wildcats coach Trevor Gleeson has called on the NBL to provide charter planes for the teams to travel on for the remainder of the grand final series. The series is tied at one all after the Kings won game two in front of a near empty crowd in Perth last night. Game three remains set to go ahead tomorrow night in Sydney. The Sydney Kings returned from Perth on a regular commercial plane, despite calls for the NBL to provide charter flights to protect player health. We're not playing in front of a crowd because of health concerns and yet they're letting us go on a plane, so the NBL should follow it through and have a charter flight for both teams to go. No, I don't feel like a charter uh, is 
a make or break issue for us. And I'm, um, I'm just excited, as I'm sure everyone is, that these games are going ahead. The minor Premier is content to travel in regular fashion, despite coronavirus concerns. We've been reassured from the MBL, from our um, you know, officials from everywhere that uh, it was safe to fly. Last night the show went on, but NBL health precautions made for surreal surrounds at Wildcats HQ. With the Red Army locked out, home court advantage was greatly diminished. Sydney standing tall to win their first final in Perth in 17 years. Andrew Bogart putting on a show in front of near empty stands. And he jams it! Pouring in a season high 19 points along with 14 rebounds. The Kings' deep roster providing ample support, headlined by a 20-point outing from Jay Sean Tate, while former Wildcat Kevin Lish dropped 19. A lone hand of 27 points from Bryce Cotton not enough for the Wildcats. Sydney 14-point victors, now two wins away from a title they've been favoured to win since the preseason. They'll have home court advantage tomorrow, again with no fans to witness it. Joel Spreadborough, SBS World News. And finally in sport tonight, today's AFLW matches were played without fans in attendance. Collingwood keeping alive its finals hopes with an emphatic win over the Brisbane Lions. Surreal scenes indeed, Anton. Yes. Thanks, Darren.